Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. So today we're gonna show you the highlights of stage 2. But previously on Abandabai bike race, stage 1 was especially amazing. It was great racing among the age group ranks and most especially during the elite, highlighted by the uh, fireworks set up by Elmer Navarro. So I guess we should see that one again. So after seeing day one, um, I said to myself it would be pretty difficult to top day one. I was pleasantly surprised day two was epic. The elite set fireworks uh, up in the climbs to tops and um, so make sure to stick around for that. Uh, for now, I'm just gonna run through all the flybys from all the other categories in Marco Polo and I'm just gonna run through the winners as well. So um, in the 30 below, first place went to Dwight Santos. Second went to John Taperla and third to Brian Inting. Um, in the women's category, first place went to Raven Alcoseba. Second place went to um, Nicole Del Rosario. Third place went to Moira Erigiano. Um, in the MTB category, in day two, Israel Goth took the win. Second will be Negro Carbonera and third is uh, Anthony Jarli Uy. In the uh, in the 31 to 40 age group, uh, my good friend Lex Diaz, who I mentioned in part one that he will win the mountain stage, he did win it. I'm just gonna insert a few highlights from him as well. Um, second place went to Rico Pitogo. Third place went to Juvan Delica. And in the executive A, 40 below, first place went to Brandon Sain. Second place went to Angelo Ilagan and third place went to Randel Ranieses. In the um, executive B, the 40 and up executives, uh, first place went to Jones Ponsica, second place went to Arvin Loberanes, and third place went to uh, Helen Bardahe. And um, for the 40 and up category, first place went to Donkey Sanchez, second place went to um, Amon Espinosa, third place went to Alberto Basergo. And that's it. So, alright guys, just like part one, I'm not gonna do any narration to this. I'm just gonna insert a few captions. Um, just stick around because the Elite race is epic. It's one of the best races I've seen in my eyes. So, um, here are the highlights. Enjoy! How we doll? How we doll? One, two, one, two. We did come interview doll.
Doon na lang boards. Doon na lang, doon na lang. Lokso na daw, lokso. Eh, lokso na ikaw. Ha Ya itu lah, lah ustaz So that was the race. Uh, Jun V Pagnanawan won by just a few meters against Zach Reyes and Nino came in to win third. I'm sorry I wasn't able to film uh, the sprint finish because uh, there was a little bit of traffic towards the finish line and there was a little bit of a crowd so uh, we let the uh, cyclists do their thing and um, I hope you enjoyed this race. Ay, ata bati ang limog na ako eh. Dol! Din ka na ko ang ninyo. Rando, last 20 meters. Sa katong, huma na sa tops? Oo. Nung sa mga nahugang ka, kadina ko nung. Eh, ikaw tayo una lagi. Ang kapatid. Anong tayo kadina? Di big ring ka? Oo, simple sa kayo. Ha? Ikaw na kadina. Mau lagi ni pikirin kan cincin kapikir? Adik kapikir nak aku. Ini tagap. Ada. Tagap. Oh lagi kita mau ikut tiga unah. Malas. Abi abi. Anya anya. Smart for day ya hak we kilpe kan ni do. Now ya was. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog and you enjoyed the race as much as I enjoyed filming it. It was a really good race to see. It's, it's very nice to see the top guys duke it out in uh, Cebu's most famous climb. I'd like to send congratulations to Coffee Pay Cyclery uh, for a great grand opening race for, for their uh, coffee shop. And um, that's the end of the vlog. I'll see you on the road or I'll see you on the next vlog.